President Bonds, members of the board, and Superintendent Andrikopoulos, I am elated to have the opportunity to receive the Excellence in Education Award this evening. I'm also grateful to several other sources for this and other recent recognitions. First, to my creator for allowing me the strength and longevity to continue working without pain or stress. Secondly, I would wish to convey thanks to the Roosevelt Camera Club of 1970 to 77 <coughs> for being the catalyst that uh, set these tributes in motion. Students are back there. <laughs> the club found a great amount of excitement develop developing pictures and covering events. Uh, recently, I found an old picture which we did when uh, Governor Lucy and uh, Superintendent G Goucher visited our principal, uh, Mr. Fred Berdeberg, uh, at Roosevelt Junior High. Oh, that's why he's got the briefcase. <laughs> but, uh, should I pass it over? Yeah, we can or do just, that. Okay. We'll, we'll get it out. All right. Oh, Our, he's, got, he's got pictures in here. Our first reunion of uh, the camera club took place uh, on July 30th of this year after Melvin Love, a member of the club, asked Miss Victoria Singh if she ever knew uh, Mr. Outlaw. Miss Singh, a friend of my daughter, uh, Marsha Masood, both substitute teachers, ultimately brought about a meeting of old friends at the Wisconsin Black uh, Historical Society, which is under the direction of another club member, Mr. Claiborne Benson. A very informal meeting took place with the former members of the club and others who had been successful in their respective fields. Ironically, the date that they selected was the same weekend of the 42nd anniversary of a near fatality which came away and was fatal to a neighbor. Much gratitude is owed again to Miss Singh, would you please stand, for her uh, coordinating ability <laughs> and showing exception, exceptional interest in the educational and pers personnel progress. A special thanks to Mr. Ben, uh, Bill Glaber of the Milwaukee Journal, whose article has brought many comments to me from the teachers who express, express the feeling of uh, enjoyment in reading something positive about MPS. Last week, a student at Bayview took me over to their bulletin board. It was to see an article written by Mr. Glaber on reading, writing, and respect. Another expression of gratitude which I feel compelled to make goes back to 1956 when uh, I and several other minority members were hired. The late uh, Honorable uh, Mayor Frank Zeidler told me on several occasions that the Mr. Ruckton Wall was the board member who suggested the idea that minorities be tried on the secondary level. This resulted in minorities being placed at Roosevelt and Jun Fulton Junior High and I, after writing these notes, found out that uh, from Ms. Uh, Nita Zeidler that uh, Mr. Ruchtenwall passed this summer. Not, uh, unfortunately, not too many of those placed at Roosevelt and Fulton at that time are still living. Mr. Louis Adams, one of the first minority teachers at uh, Fulton, recently passed and was buried two days ago. A very fitting tribute to his life was written in Tuesday's Milwaukee Journal. Uh, good. Uh, number three. Number three. Yeah. Okay. Very good. The city's organized. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to all of those, uh, all those students for the recognition of their teachers. In addition to my camera club, I, as well as nearly all teachers who teach long enough, get praise of which they feel undeserving. Those who have become principals, teachers, lawyers, doctors, parents, and all other walks of life uh, feel a deep loyalty to their teachers. Dr. Aquin Johnson, uh, Jackson, I'm sorry, a few years ago remembered me as one of his former uh, teachers. Every time I go past uh, Carolyn Darcy's room at South Division High School, she, re she reminds her class I was her Sunday school teacher. <laughs> Concerning the nom nomenclature associated with myself and my relatives, 
I must admit that I have to sometimes explain that there are times, uh, there were times long ago when people were given uh, names according to their professions. But that is no longer the case. <laughs> I simply state that outlaw is my name, but not my profession. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, uh, would you please stand? Okay, Diane, my wife of uh, 29 years, has always had a refrigerator decorated with mementos, pictures, maxims, and holiday uh, scenes. Presently, there's a, a turkey with a pilgrim on both sides. Uh, but on the wall uh, above the refrigerator is a plaque which says, the difference between in-laws and outlaws is that outlaws are wanted. <laughs> well, thanks. Thank you, President Bonds, uh, board members, and uh, Superintendent Coppolis for wanting me tonight for this award. I will always cherish it as long as I live, especially coming from my employer. Thank you. That's the board members and the uh, audience to give Mr. Um, Outlaw a round of applause. Uh, Mr. Superintendent, would you like to add comments? Yeah, go, go ahead. I, I'm sorry to cut off. Let's have the applause first so you can, you can hear me talk anytime. As a, uh, as a principal in the district for 14 years, I could tell you how many times I requested Mr. Outlaw to come and substitute at, at Fritchie. And the first thing he told me today when he came up to the mic, when we met before the meeting, he says, guess where I was today? I said, don't tell me you're at Fritchie. He says, yep, absolutely. They called me and I was at Fritchie today. So it's kind of an interesting story how sometimes uh, you have a beginning and an end to things. So Mr. Allaw, thank you for all your hard work and dedication. And certainly you've made a difference in the lives of thousands, thousands of children over the course of time. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you very much.